I think most students will agree that searching for related literature and studies is the most exhausting part of research. And there are so many problems behind that. First is, it's often hard to find the perfect and credible references for your thesis. Second is, it's also difficult to find updated references, like those which were published within one to five years ago. And once you find a relevant study, the third problem will be, it is also very time-consuming to read almost everything written in that reference, and of course, to understand its main points. But what if I tell you that there is a special website that can solve all those problems and help you quickly find credible references for your thesis? With this amazing search engine, I believe you can indeed literally finish your RRL in just one night. So let me show you the website and make sure to finish watching this video guys because I have an exciting announcement at the end only for you. Hi, this is Carl Season, helping you finish your academic requirements as quickly as possible. And welcome to our YouTube channel. Kung hindi ka magaling sa isang bagay, ang ibig sabihin lang noon, magaling ka sa ibang bagay. Sa mga bago pa lang po sa ating YouTube channel, ako po si Carl Season, a licensed professional teacher major in English, and I am uploading educational and motivational videos for you. Nagsishare po tayo ng tips na magagamit sa school, sa pag-aaral ng English, sa pagsusulat ng thesis, sa pagtitake ng licensure examination for teachers, at marami pang iba. Kaya kung gusto niyo po ng ganyang klaseng content, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and always feel free to share our videos sa iba. The name of the website is Consensus or Consensus.app. Just simply type Consensus.app on your browser and ta-da! There you have it. Consensus is an academic search engine powered by AI but grounded in scientific research. So basically, Consensus is simply like Google, but there's no fake news. Once you type in your keywords and click search, you can be confident that everything that will show up is 100% credible. But why use Consensus if there's already Google Scholar? Well, personally, I find Google Scholar very helpful, but honestly for me, Consensus is more user-friendly. Because consensus is not very strict when it comes to keywords, so searching for references becomes quicker and easier. Long time ago, I wished that searching on Google Scholar could be as easy as searching on Google, and that's exactly what consensus offers. Consensus has the quick and easy search feature of Google, and at the same time, the credibility of Google Scholar. So, it's a dream come true. Plus, Consensus also incorporates the AI feature of ChatGPT. So not only you can search for keywords, but you can also type in a question or a request, such as to give you a draft of synthesis of the references. Wow. Wonderful, isn't it? RRL has been made easier than ever. And again, you don't have to worry about the answers or the results because Consensus ensures 100% credibility. Now let me take you to the website and show you an actual demonstration on how it works. So let's say that your research is about the impact of social media usage on the academic performance of students. Uh, we can simply type in here, social media and academic performance. Click search and boom, you have the references in just one click. Plus, you can also see here a summary with a synthesized conclusion from the references. But now, if you're looking for individual research papers, you can also see here the summary of each paper here, making it less time-consuming for you compared to reading the entire paper or entire manuscript of each study. But you can also do that anyway for better understanding. Of course, for example, you can see here the title of the study. For example, for study number one, we have Social Networking and Academic Performance, a review. We can also see here the authors, the year of publication, and the number of citations. Remember that papers which are highly cited mean that they have higher mm -hmm. influence. So it could actually help you decide on which relevant references to take best. 
Uh, you can also see here the icon for study snapshot and let me click it for you. Study snapshot, consensus uses AI to extract key information about a study's methods. Let's see it. So you can see here the study count, the methods and the outcomes and also other data whenever they are available. Let's try for study number two. You can see here the population, the sample size, the location, the methods, outcomes, and the results. This is really incredible, right? You don't need to read the entire manuscript anymore because you already have here the summary. Again, RRL has been made easier than ever. And once you have decided to take that reference, you can simply click Cite. And you already have the referencing format to be listed in your bibliography, whether you want the APA format, the MLA, Chicago, Harvard, or whatever. So you, here you have so many references already for your RRL. You can also uh, filter the results. For example, if you are searching only for references published since 2021, click here 2021 and then apply and all the results will be papers published from 2021 onwards. Now, what I also love about Consensus is that you can also type in here a yes or no question and they have this feature called Consensus Meter. Let me show you that. For example, let's click, does social media usage impact academic performance? Let's click it or you can also type in that sentence or that question here on the search bar and then click search. And there you have it. You can see here the consensus meter and we can see here that 64% of the papers agree that there is an impact and 7% said possibly, but 29% said no. And you can see here the breakdown of the results. For example, for reference number one, it is unknown. So it means possibly. For example, for study three, it said yes. So if you're looking for papers which agree, on the impact or the relationship of social media usage and academic performance. So you better uh, choose papers which said yes or no according to your preferences or whatever type of references you are searching for. Also, you can see here the summary of the papers. For example, we have the negative impacts, we have non-academic use and multitasking. And for each information, you have here the corresponding a reference or corresponding relevant studies to support that argument. So for example, we have one, two, and three, and this corresponds to the number of the results here. For example, this is study one, this is study two, and this is study three. All right. Also, I mentioned a while ago that you can type in here a request, just like you're chatting with chat GPT. So let me try it for you. For example, we can type in here, the social media usage impacts academic performance. Please give me a draft of synthesis of related studies. This is super amazing, guys. There you have your draft of synthesis, including the specific places or sentences where you can insert the citation of specific references which support the ideas. For example, we have here citation for study number one. So this is it, the study number one. So we have here also the citation for study number five, and this is study number five. So this is very amazing. But again, again, please listen. What consensus gives you is just a draft. Okay, you still need to reconstruct or rewrite it on your own words to fit to your actual RRL or to your own actual manuscript. Again, we use AI for the positive, but we don't abuse it. Okay, again, we use AI for the positive, but we don't abuse it. Consensus is really amazing, right? Actually, consensus is being used already by over 2 million researchers and professionals around the world, including students, journalists, doctors, and even health and fitness experts. Consensus is also being used by researchers at the top world's institutes, including Stanford and Harvard University. So why not use it as well? The good news is, consensus is basically free for everyone.
But if you wish to upgrade to a premium account, you can use our special and personalized coupon codes for amazing discounts. And this is our special announcement. We have two coupon codes. One is CARL40, that's K-A-R-L-4-0, for a 40% discount. And the other is CARL70, that's K-A-R-L-7-0, for a deep 70% discount. Now, the coupon code for 70% discount is only active within two weeks. So if you are watching this video within two weeks after I posted it, you can use the code CARL70. And that is for a premium subscription for as low as 2.69 US dollars or just 150 pesos. Very affordable and student friendly. But the other coupon code for the 40% discount is active anytime, forever. So if you are watching this video after the window period of two weeks, you can still use the code CARL40 for a 40% discount. So what are you waiting for? Go to consensus.app now and start searching and writing your RRL. Because with consensus, RRL has been made easier than ever. Again, this is Carl Season, and see you in our next video.